method gang we back with another video today we're going to be talking about how to build muscle if you're a beginner bro do i have to even come on man look man come on bro we're going to be talking about how to build muscle so i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it quick i'm gonna keep it fast and i'm gonna give you the basic basically how basic basically how to build muscle quick so first things first do I even have come on bro you need to gym you need to gym basic stuff bro basic you need to go to the gym um a freaking kid could have told you that you need to get your ass in the gym how do you think you're gonna build muscle if you're not going to the gym if you're just sitting there on your damn bed computer jacking off and hey, what but of course you look like that. You're not working out. You're not even in the gym. How do you expect to look jacked when you're not even working out? It makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know that that makes no sense. So we need to get your ass in the gym. Get you in the gym. So now you're in the gym. Oh, I don't know what to work out. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. So much things. Well, I got a children program. You can easily join. Get ripped in four months. You know what I mean? I helped the guy lose... 12 pounds already in two months. Man went from a 12 minute mile to a seven minute, 720, was it seven minutes and 25 second mile? And he was at a 12 minute mile. He got the V taper now. He's getting them veins now. You know what I mean? His clothes. Bro, stop playing. He got a man. He's getting girl. Bro. Anyways, anyways. So we need to get your ass in the gym, right? Once you're in the gym, oh, I don't know what to do. Well, like I just said, join the program or. Just look up videos. You just look up videos. YouTube is a free platform. You can literally look up any video. My videos, anyone's videos, bro. It doesn't really matter. Just get a workout that you can start doing, right? But here's... So, I'm, let me write this down. Get a workout plan. So, once you get the workout plan, you're in the gym, you're working out. Fast forward. Now, this is major, okay? This is all cool. Obviously, you need to work out to build muscle, right? But this is where people mess up is the diet. The diet. So skinny is going to be S. F is going to be fat. Fatties and skinnies. So skinny people need to eat more. Need to eat more. Eat more. God, my handwriting is the worst. Fat. Fatties need to eat less. Fatties need to eat less. Skinnies need to eat more, obviously. You need to be at a... If you're skinny, bro, I was a skinny twig. Watch my video, how I gained 25 pounds of muscle, blah, 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 whatever the title is. It has everything, basically. <laughs> that video is so go amazing that it's not even funny, bro. It has step by step every fucking thing in that fucking video. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, I was a skinny toy, right? So, in order for me to gain muscle, to gain weight, I had to fucking eat. I had to eat. I had to eat, 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 eat. So, guess what I did? I ate. I kept eating. Because I had to be in a calorie surplus. So, calorie. I'm going to write a little neater because this is, I can't even read this. Calorie surplus. Now, I wasn't tracking anything. I just ate more. I thought I was eating a lot until I started eating more. And I had to literally force myself to eat more, bro. Eat more foods. I keep eating, keep eating, keep eating. I was eating so much that I ended up going, uh, gaining a lot of weight. Well, actually not gaining a lot of weight because I gained over time. Like, you know, it took me years to keep gaining from 149 to 175 or not, not, not. I'm at like, I go, I fluctuate between 170, 175, okay? That's basically my weight and weight. But at the same time, I started working out in 2018, six years, it's 2024. So I've been gaining weight slowly for the last six years. And most of it has been just muscle, bro. I'm I'm like 8% body fat. You know what I mean? I'm all muscle. You can literally see me, bro. Come on. Like, dude, I'm fucking jacked, bro. It took a long time, but I'm here now. And we're going to keep going up. But anyways, calorie surplus, bro. 
You know what I mean? Skinny people, you got to eat more. You got to eat more, bro. That's how you build the muscle. And fat people, you already know, fatties, you still got to eat clean. Well, you got to eat clean, too, when you're, um, you know, when you're skinny. You still want to eat clean anyway. But especially for fat people, you want to obviously be on calorie deficit. So we're going to put calorie deficit here. Oop, almost forgot. I'm going to try to write a little neater. Calorie deficit here. And obviously, you're going to be in the gym. So you're going to be gaining, you know, you're going to be building muscle while you're doing this. So this is obvious. Now, when it comes to the uh, exercises, what exercises do we want to do? Well, if you're a beginner, even if you're not a beginner, but especially, especially 100%, if you're a beginner, bro, focus on compound movements. Compound movements. You should still focus on this no matter the level, but especially if you're a beginner, compound movements is the key. This is how I'm this way. This is how I'm actually athletic. Yeah, I'm ripped and jacked, but I'm actually athletic as hell. If you know me, I run really fast. I have really good stamina. You know what I mean? I do do boxing. You know what I'm saying? I like playing sports. I'm really quick on my feet. I can jump really high. I'm athletic, bro. I'm ripped and athletic. I don't want to just look big and that's it. I want to actually look big, be big, but actually be athletic and healthy. So compound movements is going to help you a lot. What are compound movements? Well, squats. Um, oh my God, dude, this is atrocious. Oh my God, I got to rewrite that. Squats, bench, you know what I mean? Um, deadlift deadlift uh military press military press you know what i mean uh what else rows basically what compound movements is is just you're you're recruiting multiple muscle groups while doing the exercise so for example when i'm squatting it's basically my entire lower body right my back my lower my obviously my legs you know what i mean bench press yeah it's a chest press but I'm using my arms. I'm using this. I'm using that. I'm stabilizing. I'm doing all. It's just recruiting a lot of muscle groups and they're all working together. Now, like a bicep curl is just isolation on the bicep. It's just the bicep working unless you try to use the forearm. But at that point, it's not even a big muscle to, it, it's not going to matter that much. You know what I'm saying? So the compound movements are just using multiple muscle groups and they're all activating. They're all working in tandem to try to do the to try to do the exercise the movement you're doing so that's basically compound movements and i live by this i do compound movements every single day you know what i mean um it, it's just it's the quickest way to build muscle especially if you're a beginner because you're hitting all your muscles you know what i mean you're gonna get the newbie gains quick it's gonna come in quick yeah throw in isolations but really if you just do compound movements bro you're gonna see results fast you're going to see results really fast, especially if you're at a calorie surplus, if you're skinny and calorie deficit, if you're fat. So that's how you build the muscle is basically the compound movements. Obviously, guys, if you find a plan, find YouTube videos, look up how to bro. I don't even have to tell you what to do. Either join my program. Don't join the program. Whatever you do, bro, just look it up. All the information is there. Just look it up. Um, yeah, so you're going to be building muscle. You're going to be losing weight. You're going to be straining the fat or gaining you know, wait. So when it comes to building muscle, this is where everyone messes up is RPE. What does RPE mean? It means rate of perceived energy. So you have to go hard, right? You have to go hard when you work out. Now, me, I always go hard. I always... R P E. So this is where everyone messes up is the RPE. So what does RPE mean? Rate of perceived exertion. So basically it's how much effort are you putting in the workout? Because you can have the best plan, you can have the best routine. Chris Bumstead, Arnold Schwarzenegger can give you the routine, all the 
it's not going to matter if you're not going hard. And that's the thing. I see a lot of you guys with the best plan, the best this, the best that. But you're not going hard enough, bro. You're not going hard enough. Every workout you should you do should be at a 9 or a 10 RPE. This scale goes from 0 to 10. 10 being you're on freaking, you're on 10, bro. Literally. You're, you're going hard as fuck. I'm always on 10. I'm always at a 9 or 10, bro. Everyone I work with, they're at a 9 or 10. They're going hard. They're going hard. They're getting after it every single time. Every single time they're in there, they're killing it. And that's what it is. Because one, you're going to destroy your muscle group. You're going to actually push yourself, right? And two, you're building up the mental strength. A lot of this is mental strength. And a lot of you guys are don't have the mental strength. Because you're, you're in there like, uh, uh, <laughs> what the get the fuck out of here man how the hell dude there's a reason why you look like this there's a reason why you can just fucking break you man it's because you're in there you're not going hard enough you're going too soft you're going too soft you need to go hard you need to go in this shit like two guns up storm the castle kill anything that moves that's how you gotta think bro when you're doing this when you're doing anything but Man, that's the problem. A lot of you guys, they, you're just in there. You have the best plan, you have the best this, but you're not going hard enough. Just go harder, bro. Go hard. Pull it all out there. Anyone that works out with me knows what it is. You know what it is. When you work out with me, it's a different thing, bro. It's not the. It's not the, your typical workout. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the movements. You all you've done the movements, but we're, you're not doing it like this though. Like, where you're really pushing it, where you're really going in this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, yeah, that's basically the major thing is the RPE. This is the last thing I'm going to put here because I want to keep this quick. I be saying I want to make my videos quick, but they end up always being long as shit. Um, but, yeah, bro, you need to have a 9 or 10 RPE. Your effort should be very high. You should be out of there feeling like, damn, that was a good workout. You want to feel accomplished. And, and people will be, oh, that's not optimal. Optimal. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I don't care. Do is this where's your where's your physique at? Where's your shit at? Huh? Optimal, I don't give a fuck, bro. Cause uh, okay, it's not optimal, but look where my shit has gotten me. My clients, where it gotten them. Yeah. So get the fuck out of here with that shit. Anyways, RPE, bro. You got to go hard every time. One-on-one -on -one coaching, book a call, man. If you want to really take this serious, don't book a call if you're not. Man, I don't want jokers in there. I want people that are, you know, I want killers. People that are really ready to kill. Anyways, if you don't have to, do, you don't want to do that, you don't have to do it. Just go look up free shit. Anyways, that's it for the video. This is how you build muscle quick. Beginner guide, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be doing real gym vlogs and real workouts so you can really see me going in that shit going hard. Um, but that's it for the video, man. I'll see you on the next one. Gang.